Get rich fast with csgofast.com. So we're here at Star Series Season 3. Uh, Hellraiser just beat Nip and I got Stiko here to talk about the match and some other things. So let's actually start with the match uh, you played yesterday against CLG. It was like a total stomp on the T side. You can just tell me a bit about that match, why did it go like so easy in the end? Uh, we practiced CLG before, on Mirage especially, we, I remember it was really close prac, but we didn't do anything special. We tried to just see what's going on, what are they, their tendencies, we remember that they fought mid a lot as CT side, so we kind of expected them to do it on uh, line match as well. But uh, surprisingly they didn't fight for me that good as they did on practice, I don't know if, if they were just playing different game plan against us, but uh, we expected to play uh, their play was, would be more aggressive. And on T side, we just kind of lost a lot of uh, important duels. As I mentioned before in my tweet, that basically one, one duel could totally end the game much faster than we did. Uh, we had a really close defuse by Zero, which was like last take of defuse, and he died by Molly. So, uh, I mean, they played really well. Uh, I'm not taking anything uh, from them, but. Uh, we should have closed it earlier with a little bit of luck. Yeah. So moving on to today, you got drawn against NIP. So like, what was the feeling in, inside of the team? What were the expectations? And like, w which map did you expect like to play overpass? Uh, I guess we uh, we expected them to ban the overpass just as a re respect ban. Uh, we expected to play. I believe it was like Cash, Inferno, or or I don't know what was their t train. Uh, but the overpass was kind of okay for us. We beat them on uh, major qualifiers in overtime and it, we, we felt that we were much better than them on overpass in that major qualifier. They just won because of like Forrest had a ridiculous double kill in 1v2 situation and we just felt that we were a much better team. So overpass was fine for us. We tried to play our game on CT side. We tried aggressively, uh, playing aggressively which paid off in pistol round especially. But on the T side again, we kind of get uh, was getting picked by Forrest on middle over the smoke. He was like playing there really well. Um, Draken was playing also really well. I I think it was just overall good performance by NIP. But we won just important duels in important rounds, especially like when comeback was almost done by NIP. We just put it together and figured out what's wrong, and we won the rest of the rounds. Yeah, so two specific rounds on the city side. First the pistol round. It seemed like you had like a anti strat or a read, so you totally like had three guys on B short to, to meet them. And also uh, you're gonna talk about that and like the save you did, I think it was seven three and it was a three v four in their favor and you instantly went for a save and that, that like helped your economy in the long run. Like who made that call and like talk a bit about those decisions. Uh, so the pistol round we didn't counter them. We just played our kind of just style, aggressive style. We we felt comfortable on pistols against them. We know they are good pistol players, but we just before the match we told ourselves like we are much better in pistol rounds. We will just fight them wherever we can, and it paid off. There were like three coming into B short or something. We won all our duels. Uh, we hit important shots, uh, so they're like pretty straightforward round. Uh, about the safe, uh, I don't remember exactly who called it. I, I guess Angel is kind, uh, kind of known for these calls, and it was, I, I guess, it was a really good call because it kept our economy really high despite uh, losing against Eco. They had Eco, and we lost it. Um, it was Angel's called main. Yeah. So, what do you think? Like, was the key round in the end in that uh, the key moment or a key call in, in that match against NIP that won you the game? It was probably the when Zero was playing one v two on B side. He had he pushed CT spawn and tried to like kill Heaven, and then he played one v one with the guy who came from Monster. That was the one of the rounds that was really important for us. And before that, I remember someone was clutching as well. I'm not sure about it, but I think someone won a clutch and that was really important. Also, the round where we had just the Eagles and Tech Nines, we went A and Forrest won 1v2 against us. It was just, I don't know, good play by him as well. He flashed our guys, uh, but we lost the fight. But kind of, we kind of messed up spray in that 1v2, so that was that could have been uh, like our round, which would end up a, a game earlier. Yeah. 
So now we're in the playoffs. This is the first playoff for, for this Calgary Jazz team, at least for at a bigger event. Like, how are you feeling in general? What are the goals set? You said in the pre pre tournament interview that you're going to be setting goals. Like after you make the top eight, like what is the goal now? Right now, it's just win the next match, and after that match, we'll be like next match and so on. Uh, we are really happy that we are top eight. This is our, as you said, first big event that we made it that far. Um, we'll, we feel really good about it, especially because we have some kind of a home crowd here, because Angel and Bondig are uh, really known players here. We had a lot of fans coming after the game to, for signatures photos, so we were really, really, really appreciated. Uh, moving forward, we just hope for a draw that favors us in map pool. I don't know who can it be, I didn't really check it, uh, but we hope for a good fight. I, I, I believe that we will not get like stomped or anything, we'll just put a good fight to prove ourselves that we are not like online racers. Okay, that's it from uh, Sticko. Uh, we're done for, with the interview at uh, Star Series Season 3 and stay tuned to HLTV for more coverage.